We've been running our Atomic 2 EFI for a few months now, and let me tell you, it's completely modernized our classic rig. It starts with a quick turn of the key. No more priming, no more choke, it simply starts. Throttle response and drivability is simply incredible. Our electric fan and water pump turn on automatically, and with our Pro Dash display, all our gauges are literally a swipe away. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Holly's line of gauges and dashes that plug and play with MSD's Atomic 2 EFI. We're also going to be installing a HyperSpark ignition system for complete timing control. But first, let's look at Holly's gauge and dash lineup. Holly's analog style EFI gauges are a plug and play affair for MSD's Atomic 2. Not only are they stylish and look great, but they're also available in black and white configurations and in a variety of sizes. You can find speedos, tacks, temperature, air fuel, gas, just about any gauge you want in these classic looking designs. Trust your engine monitoring to Holly's analog style EFI gauges. For a more modern touch, look no further than Holly's digital dashes. We outfitted our Bronco with a 6.86 digital Pro Dash. We configured everything on our Pro Dash and even programmed our fuel tank gauge. We added virtual switches to turn on our fans and lights. Not to be outdone, Holly also offers a 12.3 Pro Dash if you need more screen real estate. There's also a 7 inch dash available. All these dashes are customizable for use in various motorsport applications and they connect via CAN bus making it a plug and play affair. We've done a few updates since our Atomic 2 installation. One of the most obvious one is going to be our Holly finned air cleaner. It gives our engine bay a much needed upgrade in the looks department. We also installed one of Holly's post billet filters up close to the Atomic 2. We did this to make sure that any debris is caught right before it enters. Secondly, to make our fuel line shorter, we installed one of Holly's non-adjustable billet fuel regulators. We mounted this compact regulator out back after the second fuel port. We've also added a throttle lever extension which gives us a smoother throttle feel, especially during low throttle input. The stock pedal was a little stiff and very sensitive to input, not a good thing when you're rock crawling. We did have to add a Mr. Gasket half inch spacer to our air cleaner to clear the throttle lever. The Mr. Gasket kit comes with a few different size spacers. And here's our HyperSpark ignition system. It's also designed to plug and play with our Atomic 2. It's a complete kit that includes a coil, ignition box and distributor. Adding timing control to our Atomic 2 is almost plug and play with the included harnesses. The kit includes a HyperSpark distributor that utilizes a Hall Effect sensor for a noise free RPM signal to the HyperSpark ignition box. The high output coil produces 135 millijoules of spark energy ensuring complete combustion. The wiring harnesses provide solid connections all around. Let's get started by installing our HyperSpark distributor. Let's first start by disconnecting our negative battery terminal. We'll remove our coil, ignition box and distributor. Before we remove our distributor, we're going to mark our spark plug wires with the firing order. Next, we need to make sure our engine is on the compression stroke of the number one cylinder with the balancer reading zero degrees, which is top dead center. To make sure we're on the compression stroke, we pulled all the spark plugs out and turn the engine over till it blows our finger off the cylinder. This tells us we're on the compression stroke. We can then hand turn the crank over to the zero degree marker on our balancer. Once our engine is at top dead center on the compression stroke of the number one cylinder, we can remove our distributor. Make sure the base of the distributor is free of dirt and debris before pulling it out. We're removing the distributor cap before installing the distributor so we'll be ready with the cap alignment tool. Our 5 liter base block uses a factory hydraulic roller cam which requires a steel gear. Our HyperSpark distributor came with a cast iron gear. We sent our distributor out to MSD to have them swap it out for a steel gear. Before dropping it in, make sure to use an included o-ring and coat the gear liberally with the molly lube. When installing, make sure your distributor fully seats. In some cases, you might need to rotate the oil pump shaft to get your distributor gear to line up and drop in. Holly's clear alignment tool makes facing your distributor a piece of cake. Once your distributor is fully seated, drop the cap alignment tool onto your distributor and rotate the distributor housing until the cap alignment tool falls into place. Once it locks onto the cap, we have phased our distributor. 
we can now tighten the distributor hold down clamp. The cap alignment tool has a second trick up its sleeve. On the bottom side, there's a notch indicating our number one cylinder. Let's mark the housing so when we install the distributor cap, we can note the number one tower. Before we install our distributor cap, now is a good time to install a fresh set of spark plugs and spark plug wires. We'll be using MSD superconductor wires for our hyperspark ignition. We're using a universal set so we can make these wires custom fit. Let's go ahead and finish up our wiring. These harnesses are going to make short work of a hyperspark ignition system. Let's plug in our hyperspark distributor, then our coil wire harness. Our bulkhead connector also contains the main power wires going straight to the battery. And let's not forget our switched 12 volt wire harness which turns on our hyperspark ignition. So all that's left to do is configure our hyperspark ignition on our handheld display. It's important to have the latest firmware updates for your Atomic 2 handheld and Atomic 2 ECU when doing upgrades. Let's begin. From the home screen, let's click on the tuning icon, then on system. Here we'll go into the ignition setup screen. For ignition type, we'll select hyperspark distributor. Click save. It'll ask us to cycle the ignition. Let's go ahead and do that. Then back on to load our new calibration. Let's start our engine and verify our timing. From the home screen, select the tuning icon, system icon, then static timing. We'll set our static timing at 15 degrees. Then we'll select set on the handheld to lock in our timing. Now we just need to verify our static timing at the harmonic balancer. If the timing doesn't match up to the 15 degrees we set up on the handheld display, we'll have to loosen the distributor hold down and rotate the housing till it lines up at 15. Ours is showing about 12 degrees, so we'll loosen our distributor clamp and rotate the housing slightly to get to the 15 degree mark. Now that we've verified the timing at the balancer, we need to clear it from the handheld. To clear it from the handheld, simply click on the clear button. The static timing should update to cleared status and simply close the window. Now our Atomic 2 will control the timing with the parameters we supplied it. Let's go to the spark window and confirm those parameters. To confirm our parameters, let's go to tuning, then we'll go to basic, and then we'll go to spark. This is our spark window. Here we can adjust our ignition timing at idle, our ignition timing at cruise, and our ignition timing at wide open throttle. There's also a parameter to set our cranking ignition timing. Our Atomic 2 will build a timing curve to match these parameters. To get the best performance out of your engine, it's best to build a custom timing curve. Learn more by watching the video below. The link is in the description. If you want a custom tailor and ignition timing curve for your engine, you can do so by downloading Sniper EFI software. All we need to do now is get to an off-road park and stretch our Bronco's legs. To find out more about MSD's Atomic EFI, visit us at msdperformance.com.